Today we're gonna to be working on spin pivots. Some people call it pivots. Hi guys, my name is Simeon. My name is Cora. And thank you for joining us at SK Dance Sport. Probably the most, I think, classic. Yes. Like if you think ballroom dancing, spin pivots, you know? So just kind of rotary moves with rotation. Uh, very beautiful, it's very together, but it's one of the hardest steps you can do. I have a lot of students, the first thing they always ask me is when can I learn spin pivots? And, and that's when I'm like, um, much later. It's going to take us a while. <laughs> <Much later. laughs> yeah, they're actually very difficult to learn. And, and what I do recommend, if you can do this, uh, and don't take it the wrong way, but if you can try to do it with a professional. So for yes, example, if Cora was my amateur partner, I'd say, you know what, maybe take one lesson with a good professional, dance it. This is actually something that we do quite a lot with, with um, our competitive couples, when they need to work on something that has a lot of rotation. It's, all, it's usually rotation. Big rotations or big sways. Well, Those any, are the two big And ones. anything that also has to do with weight. Weight, yes. Yeah, because, uh, Play of weight. Yeah, it's uh, guys that are inexperienced, they're afraid to throw their weight off in the right, in the right direction. Well, and girls too, actually. Because yeah. girls are always afraid of being heavy or pulling the guy over or falling over themselves. Right. So sometimes, in, in order to do this, you just need to experience it with somebody who knows what they're doing so they can give you the right feeling so that you can trust, it, trust yourself and then produce it. We've got a very common, well-known combination for you guys today to learn your spin pivots. We're going to start off with the natural spin turn, then we're going to do two sets of spin pivots. When we say two sets, we mean two measures of spin pivots, but the last measure is going to finish like an overturned spin turn, and then we're going to come out with a turning lock to the right. themselves so not on the combination and then we want to point out something right away what man does is not the same as what the lady does right there's some similarities but the lady's footwork's very different it's anyways it's different and the reason is that I'm going up when I'm going forward and she's going when, when I'm going up and forward at the same time she's attached to me she's going backwards so she goes back and up as I go forward and up so that makes the, the, basically it's opposite rise so same steps, opposite rise. And I'm so happy that Simi brought that up because I remember when we were young and learning spin pivots, we were taught them side by side with our teacher. So our teacher put us side by side and we learned it the same way together. Nobody explained to me that my footwork and rise and fall was different. I had to figure that out on my own. I don't know why nobody and, explained it to me. And you. actually the ladies footwork is kind of... It's weird. It is weird. Yeah. It's very unusual. It's, 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 it's counterintuitive. Yeah, you, you're taught always when you're going down, up from up high down low to never take a heel lead but in this case you're taking a heel lead so right. it's a little bit it's kind of opposite of what normal so guys all you're doing okay so you have two, spin pivots there are two parts okay there's the spin and then there's a pivot okay and they're two very like very basic syllabus steps so when you do a natural spin turn which is what we started with that is a spin so we go one two three so let's say I do this one Spin is this one here. So I'm going to go forward on my right. I'm driving my weight forward on the right foot uh, from my left to the right. And when I arrive on the ball, I'm going to spin on that foot, however far I can, right? So half a turn will be the most you can probably get away with, okay? So again, I'm going to show you. So one, I do my natural turn. I lower. This is technically a pivot, so I'm going to do a pivot. Now here's a spin. I'm going to go drive my weight forward and up. So the first thing I want you guys to practice is from the base of the left leg to push your weight forward and then up through the ball of the right foot, okay? And the left side is gonna continue 
reaching forward as you're on the right ball, forward and around the lady to step side, but as soon as you arrive, it's gonna feel more like a backward step, okay? So you're, at the moment that I'm on my right foot, it's gonna feel like I'm swinging my left leg forward, but by the time it arrives, it arrives side, and by the time I land on it, it's gonna feel more like a backward step to start the next pivot. So again, I go forward up to my right foot, so I wanna really find the balance on the ball before I leave to go into my pivot. Then the second, so that's part one. You're gonna keep doing that. Every time you step forward on the right foot, every other step's gonna be that one. And then on the left foot, you're gonna swing it around the lady. So here's my partner. I'm gonna swing it around the lady, and I'm going to pivot. And what that means is I'm gonna land on the ball of the foot, and I corkscrew down, and my left heel does touch the floor. It kisses the floor at the end of the turn. But make sure you don't put any weight in it so when you do a heel, like you turn on the heel at the end of it. So it just kisses the floor, and then immediately you will rise, you push off to do the first one, right? Because the first one started here, and I pushed up out of it. So the footwork is toe, heel, toe on the left foot, because you're turning on the toe, then the heel touches the floor, and then you leave, you leave the foot, so that's the toe again. And then the right foot is a heel toe. Okay, so I show it to you over and over and over. I'm gonna drive forward up and pivot. Forward up and pivot, yeah? Forward between the legs, pivot around the lead. Forward between the legs, pivot around the lead, okay? Now one more thing to point out. So when you do the, this, this is very common. When you do the pivot, guys like to do this because you're, you know the next step's gonna be heel lead. So you're thinking, well, I might as well prepare the heel. Yeah, but or it might as well, yeah, the heel lead, okay? You're gonna stay on the toe until you arrive on the foot. So it is a heel lead, but do it later. So it's, it's toe, 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 heel toe. Okay, it's a little bit later. So to show you a bad one, yeah? I'm actually, I've had experience with these ones, yeah? So a bad one would be this one. One, two, three. One and two, three. You see, that not look very good. Yeah, it's, when I watch it, even if it's a pretty good pivot, I, my eyes see that, that toe sticking up. Very ugly, yeah? So keep it on the floor, but don't, then don't do a toe lead, because I've seen that as well. People stay in the toe, and then they go up in the toe. So a heel lead, okay? Uh, make sure that your right leg is tracking the leg. So, so we're basically, so of course here, and I'll show it to you with her, as she's going around me, I'm leaving my leg in the same relative, my right leg in the same relative position. So I kind of, I call it the um, common leg. So my right leg and Cora's right leg is, they're tracking each other. They might not be very, like, they might not be a very strong connection, but you'll notice that they're touching, okay? So if I borrow Cora, so literally we're doing this, yeah? So I'm gonna go backward, it's connected, forward, it's connected. And the only thing I'm doing from here is I'm turning. So I go turn and two, three, one and two, three. One and two. So she's tracking my leg and I'm tracking her leg. Now I'm not pushing her, but she knows where I am because she can feel my leg. I know where she is because I can feel her leg. And that kind of tells me the direction I need to travel. So I cannot, if I do, if I get to here and I say, you know what, I want to go toward the camera. I cannot just go there. Okay, I need to make sure that she's going to go there with me. Yeah, so you see my leg is still connected. So we need to do that together. Okay, let's do it together and then I, I will let her talk and do her part. Yeah, so I will do my spin pivots without the natural turn. So we've done the natural turn. And, and again, full disclosure, I think on the, on the demonstration of one of them, I lost my balance and I fell back. I didn't want to redo the video. I could always redo it infinite number of times. But I like pointing some of these things out as well. My balance is a little bit back. And so I didn't, she actually stayed quiet. It was kind of nice. Yeah, usually <laughs> she can that I can yeah. a lot, But you want to lower into the right leg before you move back into the left leg. And what happened to me, typical, sometimes he it happens, I go back into the leg. So yes. my, my lowering is a little bit late. I remember it. I felt so, it. So the, the power is not quite as good. I mean, I cheat really. I'm a very good cheater. And just not good enough to very, me, that's all. <laughs> very experienced at cheating. But just letting you know, if you can, like, if you can practice that, that's what I recommend. From here, when you've done the natural turn, you've closed the right foot, you need to lower through the right leg. So I'm lowering through the right leg before I move on to the left, two. And then this is the part that Cora was talking about. So when you pivot, you need to pivot and, see I'm swiveling the foot. And I'm connected to her right leg with my right thigh. Now I'm gonna do another one. So one and two, pivot three. And again, I'm connected with my right leg on the thigh. 
Yeah? Okay. She's going to show the ladies part of things. So our footwork, strangely enough, is the same. Yeah. Our footwork is toe heel on the on the back half, so we're still going toe heel toe, and the forward step is heel toe. But we have the opposite rise and fall. So it's really, really weird. <laughs> yeah? So what I'm gonna do is on my first step, so after I come out of the, the spin turn, on my first step, I'm going heel toe. So this is normal. Now as I start to go into the syncopated portion, okay, from this position here, as I go backwards onto this foot, I'm going to rise. I'm still putting my heel down, but I have rise coming out of the toe. Now, just to demonstrate that I rise and go on the heel, I did a little bit of heel pivot. You're not supposed to actually. Yeah, there's no heel pivot in this, in this position. So it goes back, forward. Do you see that? So let me demonstrate it again, because it's, it's hard to, it's, it's easy to miss. So I go back, as I pivot, you see I'm up high, as I pivot, I have to place my heel down. Then right before I come out of it, I have to go out of the toe again. So my foot is still going toe, heel, toe, even though I have rise, yeah? Now, like Simi mentioned at the beginning of, of this uh, tutorial, when I go forward, I'm still going heel, toe, even though I'm going from up high to down low, yeah? It's opposite of what we're always taught to do. We're always taught to come down on the toe heel. So normally if I see that, my entire body kind of goes to a convulsion. Yeah, if I'm watching like quick step and I see quick, quick, slow, my whole body is like, ugh. Yeah, but in this case, if I'm watching pivots and I see this, then I, I ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not yeah. gonna get far enough like that. That's right, yeah. The, the, the reason is because on basically on every single step, because we're, we're trading um, momentum on each step, the person who's, so the way that I think of it is that the person who's going backwards is creating momentum. Yeah, I guess I think I, of it. I think it would be opposite of that. Yes, but but I think of it like that when I'm going back because I'm small. And so for me to, to give momentum to him when I'm going forward, when I've got this big guy in front of me, it's difficult. But when I'm going backwards, I can create a lot of momentum, not by leaning backwards, but by pulling my belly button in, I can actually create like a vacuum for him to come with me. Yeah, so I use that to create momentum. Now, when he goes backwards, he also gives a lot of momentum in, so I need to stay with him somehow. I'm not gonna stay with him if I'm coming down on a toe heel. So even though I'm up high, although I'm on a flat foot, yeah, because I've gone toe heel, so I'm on a flat foot, but I'm up high in my leg, so I've had rise in my left leg. Now as I step forward, I need to go, I'm gonna push the ball of my foot, ball of my foot, heel at the last moment. So we're doing our pivot, my toe go, my, the ball of my foot goes along the floor, and then heel. Yeah, and that's how I'm gonna create that momentum on the forward step. Now one more thing that's really, really important for the ladies, besides that footwork with our rise and fall, is what we do with our body. Pivots is always one of those steps that I, I came out of pivots breathless. Yeah, as in out of breath. And the reason why is because not only are you moving fast around the floor, but I twist my body so much in order to create momentum to keep my head left, so on the left side of my spine, on the, on the um, side of the partnership, but also to use my head weight to get past the man. Again, he weighs more than me, yeah? And spin pivots are one of those movements where I can't use, uh, let's say, uh, my sway to balance out the weight because we're both rotating the same amount with the same speed. So the only thing that I can do to balance my weight out with him is to send my head weight more towards the outside of the frame than he does, yeah? And when I say outside of the frame, this is, this is where one of my rules about head turns comes in, which is, ladies, when you're doing a right turn moving forward, I always say that your nose has to try to touch your elbow, okay? Have you ever touched your elbow with your nose? I know I haven't. It's not very possible, right? Now if you put up your frame, and you say, okay, I want you to try to touch your nose to your elbow, but you're not allowed to get your elbow closer to your shoulder. So then what's gonna happen? You're gonna reach and your elbow's gonna go and you're gonna keep reaching, your elbow's gonna go, yeah? So as you're doing that first step, it goes forward, it goes da 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 Yeah? So that's the position that we're getting into as we do the forward half of our pivot. So we have a massive twist with our upper body and the head weight is going towards the elbow that's gonna give me weight that goes past the man, 
which is momentum that he can use to create the pivoting action. Now this time we're going to ignore the natural turn part of it. So the natural turn I'm going to ignore it just to kind of save, you know, save that part from, everybody can do natural turn, okay? So we're going to go from the spin into the pivots and the spin exit. And I'm going to give you the next thing to probably talk about is the timing, right? So the timing from the very first one, the spin turn is going to be one, two, pivot, three. So it's a typical spin turn. The only difference is the three is going to be a pivot and that will be the pivot to get us going into the, into the spin pivots, yeah? So we're gonna go on the, on the one, so this is three. On the one, it's gonna be a pivot, one, okay? On two, count two, it's gonna be a spin two, okay? On count three, it's gonna be a pivot three. But notice that now I've done the pivot, I'm on three. So now my count one is going forward. Whereas just a second ago, my count one went backwards. That's why the first time we do to enter the spin pivot, I don't think better go one, two, three. Okay, so that way I finish because I've done three steps and I went back, forward, back, I now can go forward on one. Once I've done that, I can do an infinite amount of spin pivots, like as many as I want to, but I have to syncopate them because I always want to enter my one going forward. So they'll go like this, they'll go one and two, three. Now I'm back in the same position. One and two, three. So always forward on one, I'm powering forward. Okay? The guidance. Okay? If I did, if I was here and I'm going to go forward on one and I did one, two, three without syncopating, it would go one, two, three. Yeah? Now I'm going to go backward again. And then I could go one, two, three. Not that that's not possible. But that's not a, that's not how we do spin pivots. Okay? At least in bolts, that's not generally how we dance them. So we're gonna go. We've done a, a, a simple spin turn. One, two, three. Then syncopated pivots. One and two, three. One and. Yeah. So I'll show you the whole thing. So it's gonna go. One, two, three. One and two, three. One and. Okay. So this would be the last spin pivot. Now I'm gonna do my normal spin turn exit. So from here, the natural spin turn goes one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do the five, six. So I've cut that five, six. I just skipped it earlier. I'm just gonna paste it here. Like, you, a stri like a stretch limo. For you, that includes the brushing of the foot. Mm -hmm. So here we go. I'm gonna go up on five, six. I like can spin turn five, and then lower six. Yeah, and as she knows, because I've lowered a lot without pivoting, she knows I'm exiting. And then I do my turning lock here. One and two, three. Okay, so I'll show it to you with frame, the whole thing without stopping. And I'm gonna count it, because the first time we danced it, we, we had the music. So I'm here, and then the natural turn, I lower, and one, two, three, one and two, three, one and two, three, one and two, three. Uh, do remember to subscribe. Also, come check us out on our other social media channels. We are on Facebook, SK Danceboard. We're also on Instagram, at SK Danceboard, and on Twitter, at SK Danceboard. You can also check out our blog, where we write articles about these things, too, so reading is a little bit better for you guys, or we also have, for instance, uh, some of the things that we do on the blog, for instance, like a step-by-step uh, uh, a, um, step -step, uh, uh, instructions on how to put on fake tanning, or I have a shoe buyer's guide for ladies' standard shoes, things like that. So definitely check that out. Our website address is www.skdanceboard.com. If you like this, and if you'd like to see some of the routines that we have put together, check out our paid platform, vimeo.com slash Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.